Welcome everyone. Today I'm going to talk about Delanoi number. In mathematics, a Delanoi number describes the number of paths from the southwest corner, that is 0, 0, of a rectangular grid to the northeast corner MN using only single step north, northeast, or east. For example, D22 equals 13. Delanoi number can be calculated by DMN1 for the base case which is if M is equal to 0 or N is equal to 0. Otherwise, we have DM minus 1 N plus DM minus 1 N minus 1 plus DM N minus 1. So, this is actually a grid as you can see here for D22 we have this grid so what do you understand by all this definition or formulas the simplest part is that we have to know how many routes can we take from this point to this point okay so all the possible routes that we can travel from one point to the other through any given 2D grid. Okay, this is the Delanoi number. So here we have taken 2, 2, right? So that is a 2D grid of 2, 2 length. So we have this example here. The upper 3 is for 1, 1 okay that is that is for 1 1 so for 1 1 we have 3 for 2 2 we have 13 so how 13 let's see from our, our what is our goal our goal is from this point to this point right so every route that we can take from this point to this point so for 2 degree we can take from here to here here to here to here this way this way this way this way this 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 way similarly all these other way and these are the only possible way we can go from this point to that point okay you can check if you want to but this is all the combination we can move from this point to this point okay so we have total of 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 so I told you before that D22 is equal to 13 so we have 13 combinations here let's check out the C++ code of Delanoi number here as you can see we have a method right this is the method of the Delanoi number uh, we have um, input integer number n and integer number m so in the example we have seen like we have used D22 so here the input might be 22 so I have initialized n is equal to 2 and m is equal to 2 so yeah now it will go inside this Delanoi method and check if there is m equal to 0 or n is equal to 0 so we have seen before that m equal to 0 or n is equal to 0 we will return 1 this is our base case or else we have those three recursive calls m minus 1 n plus m minus 1 n minus 1 plus m n minus 1 this is again calling Delanoi as recursively so that we can find out the actual value now this is what's going on here so let's move on to our tree so here as we can see we have 2 2 as input right so it must be 13 how it is 13 let's see 2 2 is not our base case for our base case we need m, m either m is equal to 0 or n is equal to 0 right so as this is not our base case we have 3 recursive calls one for m minus one 
that is 1 then n and another one is m minus 1 n minus 1 that is 1 1 and then m n minus 1 that is 2 1 right so we have the recursive call then again 1 2 it's not the base case right so again we will call we will proceed so 0 2 0 1 and 1 1 okay now 0 our condition was either of m or n would be 0 we will have the base case right so we have m as 0 so we have the base case doesn't matter if n is 0 or not we have m as 0 so we have the base case so we will return 1 similarly here we have 0 then we will return 1 here we have 1 1 so we don't have the base case so we will have to move forward so we have 0 1 0 0 1 0 so in three of the cases we have the base case so we will return 1 so 3 1 is equal to 3 here 2 1 is 2 so we have total of 5 from this branch similarly we will move forward here we have 1 1 so after we will 1 1 is not the base case we will move forward we have 0 1 0 0 1 0 so we will have 3 as an output of this and then for this branch 2 1 is not the base case so we will move forward similarly we have from here 3 here 2 total of 5 now 5 plus 3 plus 5 we have total of 13 this is how the tree works now let us jump into the MIPS code of Delanoi number I am not going to go through the simulation for this code because it is a lengthy one but I am going to explain the whole code to you so that you can understand what each line is doing now we will start from the main here and we have add immediate in register a0 we have initialized it as 2 in a1 we have initialized it as 2 a0 and a1 is representing m and n we had d m n so this is actually m equal to 2 n equal to 2 and we have here a0 initialized as 0 which will be used as a flag in future you will see here it is used somewhere here so yeah then we will jump to Delanoi but it is J A L therefore R A is equal to 1020 in the Delanoi we subtract minus 16 from the stack so we have a stack from the stack where the stack is pointing the address we will subtract minus 16 and then we will input the value of RA or save the value of RA A0 and A1 and A0 in the stack then we will compare a0 if a0 is equal to 0 then we will go to the base case or a1 equal to 0 we will go to the base case as we have seen before m or n is equal to 0 means we are in the base case or we will go to the recursive but let's see the base case here we have in the base case at immediate v0 1 we are initializing v0 as 1 and we are then adding 16 to the stack so the address is shifted to 16 and we have we will jump to the ra value whatever the ra value is okay 
so let's move in the recursive part what the recursive part is doing in the recursive part we have add immediate that a0 is minus 1 that is the value of a0 is subtracted by 1 and a1 is a1 so a1 is equal to a1 it is doing nothing here for now and then we will again jump to the Delanoi and before jumping our RA value change to 1092 right so when the RA value is 1092 LW means load A0 that means we are inputting the value of A0 from the stack A1 from the stack and then adding uh, A0 is equal we are not adding A0 it's a0 is equal to v0 so we are inputting the v0 value into a0 and then we are subtracting 1 from a0 and subtracting 1 from a1 and then again we are jumping to delanoi and when we are jumping to delanoi our ra value turned to be 1116 and once our ra value is 1116 and it is called we will go here and here we can we will have a0 value as a0 plus v0 and we will again load a0 a1 and from the stack and then we will uh, make a0 equal to a0 a1 minus 1 as a1 then we will again jump to Delanoi and before jumping our value will be 1140 and once the array value is 1140 and is called and we, then we will have a0 plus v0 in v0 and we will load array a0 a1 a0 this is the last step as you can guess so after loading all these values we will add 16 to the stack causing the stack go to the initial state we started from and then we will jump to the array value and once we will go to this array value it will jump to 1020 the initial array value we started with so it will exit the code and we will have our result of the Delanoi number so this is how the code works and I hope you will go through this code and simulate the code by yourself and I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching.